My name is Catherine Merseth. I am a senior lecturer at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. My focus is on charter schools and school reform. Across the country, we do not have a fundamental agreement on the purpose of education. Why do we have schools? You may have a very different answer than I have, and we don't talk about that. We just sort of pretend that we're all in this business together. And so our differences simmer. You hold on to your beliefs, I hold on to my beliefs. Unfortunately, I think we've gotten to a point in a lot of American public education where the systems and the school districts and the bureaucracies are designed for the benefit of the adults and not for the benefit of the children. And we need to stop and say, how does this work for kids? What we found with regard to school culture is that absent a healthy, vibrant, very purposeful culture, a school will fail. And by that I mean that if all the individuals, the teachers, the students, the parents, the administrators, the community, have different ideas about what the purpose is of the school, about how we will operate, down the line you'll run into trouble. So a fundamental first step is to create a common culture of coherence where the individuals in the school, anyone you run into, you say, what's this school about? Why are you here? My main message is don't try to do too much too fast. When we think about schooling, I have a rather conservative view. I think it should be a purpose and a place for learning. And there are all these other things that you could do too, but if we don't teach the children to be literate, to read, to write, to compute, to be able to use a computer, who else will? So having an adult in a child's life who helps the child see the future is essential and critical. Every child needs a caring, thoughtful, purposeful adult in their lives. You need a teacher who knows the subject matter well and in depth so that when a kid asks, why does that work, a teacher can go to explaining it. I think you need a teacher who has multiple techniques of dealing with different learning styles and learning approaches so that in a classroom with 30 youngsters you may have 10 different approaches. I think you need teachers who have a professional relationship with other teachers who are willing to come into each other's classrooms to comment on their teaching. And finally, I think you need a code of professional ethics that really presses them to say, I am here for the kids. I'll do everything I personally can to make sure this child learns. Fundamentally for me, it's this point of contact between teacher and child. They take many children who are way far behind, and they say, you're in ninth grade, you're reading at sixth grade level. We're going to make up three years in one year. Let's get going. This is hard work. Be nice, but get going.